Hey guys, yeah, I kind of feel like I need an instrument here, a violin, because this is the same song here with the forecast has been the case all week. We've kept the off and on showers around the area. You know, it's more of a nuisance really than anything else. Enough to slow your commute down because it provides just enough of a glaze of wetness there on the roads to give you some headaches. Here's what we're finding from West Union towards Maysville. We've got mostly light sprinkles and showers back towards Georgetown, Felicity and Falmouth tonight. Obviously nothing particularly heavy, but you are seeing these areas of rain scoot their way through south and east of Cincinnati. And there's more shower activity up here near Connorsville and Liberty tonight. This will scoot into parts of Franklin Butler counties. So essentially anyone could experience some off and on shower activity through the night. And in fact, this is the forecast for the weekend. That's why I was playing my violin there because very little is going to change between now and the weekend. Unfortunately, the only silver lining to things I can think of. One, temperatures aren't terribly cold moving forward. And then secondly, it may be a little brighter over the weekend, maybe not quite as damp as it has been the past several days in a row around here. But all in all, very little day to day change. You can see we've had the waves of showers. There's our stationary front park to the south. As long as it's in the vicinity of the Ohio Valley, Basically, clouds and waves of showers keep coming our way. So here's your evening forecast. If you're headed out, it's dreary, it's damp. And again, some sprinkles, showers, a little mist, a little drizzle to continue. Temperatures, though, will hold steady in the 40s. So impacts from wet weather. Let's go with medium tonight. We'll have the chance for showers again, both Friday and Saturday, although I think overall, as I said, going into the weekend, it looks drier and a little bit brighter across the area. Show you that on Futurecast. Again, ignore the fact skies want to clear tonight. I think we're locked in with clouds, maybe even some fog at times around the area. So mostly cloudy skies are anticipated to stick around. Here's your shower threat Friday afternoon and evening. This won't be a big deal. It's not a lot, but just keep in mind there could be some sprinkles and showers around. And then look how we're locked in the clouds again on Saturday around the area. Saturday afternoon could bring in another round of sprinkle and shower activity around the area through Saturday night. And let me walk you into your Sunday. Gloomy skies expected, but it should be dry on Sunday and not bad for football weather, especially in December. Temperatures will be in the 40s at tailgate and because we'll be locked in with the clouds, temperatures just don't move that much between day and night. So I think we're in the mid 40s again on Sunday as well. So here's a live look outside right now. We're holding at 45 degrees. Got that northeasterly breeze out there. Temperatures are pretty uniform. Most of us are within a degree or two of 45. And I think really through the night tonight, temperatures just don't fluctuate much. Somewhere between about 40 and 45 for everyone. Damp and gloomy, mostly cloudy skies. Could have a little patchy fog in there. Tomorrow, gloomy still with scattered showers in the afternoon and evening. We'll top out around 53. With it being drier the first half of the day, temperatures will likely sneak their way into the low 50s. But there's your shower threat increasing into the evening. Here's your seven day forecast. A few more showers in here on Saturday. And just look at the lack of sunshine here in the seven day overall. So temperatures don't have too much of a dramatic swing because we're locked in with these gloomy conditions. However, I will say, Mike and Cherie, by the time we get to late next week, indications are that it will be turning much colder. So for now, it's been kind of gloomy and mild for early December. Looks like it may be turning gloomy and cold by this time next week. That's even worse.